Hey everybody, I'm Bill. Welcome back to Big Old Bill's Barbecue. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and the bell icon to stay up to date with everything we do here. Today we're making beef matzo sticks, so follow along to get the step-by-step -step progression of what we're going to do today. You've heard of matzo sticks. Today we're going to be putting our own spin to them. We're going to start out with our G. Hughes sugar-free steak sauce. You know we got to put that sauce in there to keep it nice and juicy. Next up, we're going to throw in some garlic powder. We're just going to put in a good amount. We like things garlicky around here. Next up is our Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse Rub. Gotta love that buttery flavor. It makes everything so much more delicious. About half an onion goes in. Time to mix. Let's go. Now doesn't it just look beautiful? Alright, who's ready to make our beef mozzarella sticks? We're going to start out with our sliced mozzarella. Next, we're just going to take a nice handful of that beautiful ground beef. We just want enough so that way when we roll it around, we'll be able to make an indent that that sliced of mozzarella cheese will fit perfectly into. Just like that. Okay, you're going to grab your matzo stick. Push it into the middle, wrap that beef around. We don't want any cheese poking out. We want it to be hidden perfectly. Sometimes that matzo stick, it's a little bit fussy, so you might have to grab a little bit more of your beef, cover it up, hide it up nice and well. Once you get all the sides covered, just gonna roll it around a bit more. You should be good to go. Put it down on your rack. Get to making the rest. Wow, doesn't it look beautiful? Can't wait to eat this. Let's go. Let's make some more. It's time to go into hyperspeed. Wish I could be like this all the time. Cooking would be so much easier and faster. Who's with me? Am I right? Let's get started on our second meat matzo sticks. We're gonna start out with our Trailer Park Boys Decent Hot Sauce. Gotta have that sauce to keep it nice and juicy. Next up, our blackened seasoning from Pepper Palace. Just shake it on in there. Then our jalapeno salt, that nice salty flavor. And then our garlic powder. Just the perfect combo. It's all great. We're going to start mixing it up after we add our half a bowl of onions. And that'll be that. We'll get to mixing. You already know how to mix, so let's go. Beautiful. All right, just like with our first set, we're going to grab a nice handful of that beef, roll it around our hands. Put a nice divot in it so we can throw that slice of mozzarella inside. Make those beautiful beef mozzarella sticks. Wrap that beef all around the matzo stick. You don't want any of it poking out. Otherwise, it'll leak out when it cooks and gets hot. Okay. Once you have all your sides covered, you're going to try and roll it around in your hand again. Get that nice shape. Back into hyperspeed. Let's go. All right, let's throw our beef mozzarella sticks into our offset smoker. It's sitting right between 250 and 260. We're going to throw them in there for about an hour to two hours. We'll check on them halfway through. Pull them out. Should be good to go. We'll see you in a little bit. One hour, 45 minutes in, and these matzo meat sticks are looking great. A little bit of cheese leaked out. Nothing wrong with that. Still got plenty on the inside, don't you worry. We're going to cut one up for you just so you can see. Let's take a little slice, cut it in half, bring it up to the camera so you can see the cheese. Man, looks phenomenal. 
As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you can stay up to date with everything we do around here. We'll see you next time.